right, I'm gonna do just a quick simple tutorial on how I hoop these baskets to put a name on them. I like to place the name right here in the front center. Um, they're just little bunny baskets with ears. I buy these wholesale um, through a gift shop company in bulk and um, these are actually last year's style that I'm still using. Cute little bunny tail on the back. Um, so I've sold out of them. These are my last three that I'm working on right now. Um, so what I do for these names, I don't print out a lot of my designs, but names for baskets and bunny ears I do like to print off. So what I do, as I print it off to scale, I use Sew Up Pro, but you can do this in Brilliance as well if that's your preference. Um, I find where I want the name, I like to line the center of this up just with the center of um, the mouth design. These are pre-embroidered on that part. Um, I'm just adding the personalization, the name. And then what I do is use a piece of masking tape, just something sticky enough to hold it in place, but that's not gonna leave any residue. Um, some people like the pin, but that's that's more difficult for me. So I like to just tape it on, just like that. Now these are nice, thick, padded, um, not thin or anything. So I do not use any type of stabilizer on mine. Um, you could definitely use sticky stabilizer or a tearaway stabilizer since it's um, just going to be on the inside of the basket where you're not going to really see it. Um, if you're using fast frames, I would definitely use sticky. Um, but I'm going to be hooping them with my five and a half inch Mighty Hoop. Also, the other thing I will add is since my 10 needle machines do offer the quote unquote snowman feature, um, I'll also like to place this right there because then it does the lining up for me automatically. However, you do not need to do that if your machine does not offer that. Um, people that have lasers are make it really easy to find just that center mark and make sure it's straight or just using like the trace feature on your machine will also have a similar effect. Um, so what I do to hoop these, I actually had been um, hooping them flat, but I have moved to using the freestyle board that came with my five and a half inch Mighty Hoop um, fixture. So this board is actually meant to place on um, the freestanding placement board. I don't remember the name of it um, through Mighty Hoops. I never ordered the entire kit, so I don't actually have the board itself. I just have this because it came with the fixture that I use on the chest placement board. So I don't have the freestanding board. Um, so this was just sitting around and I realized this could definitely be put to use on these. So I'm going to show you guys how I use this even without the actual placement board. All right. So what I do is I take the bottom of my Mighty Hoop ring, the warning label goes down. I pull this off my counter ways so I have room to hoop it. And then I just place it relatively in the center. I bring my basket over and just thread it on however far it'll go. That's the nice part about stitching up here at the top of the um, basket versus in the middle, if it was a plain design basket, of course, um, is that I can definitely um, have a little bit more room to work with. So what I do is I just try to get it relatively center um, and kind of these ears I have to play with a little bit sometimes. I like to get them out of the way as much as possible because the hoop's right here. Um, so we want as much of that bulk out of the way as possible. And then what I do is just carefully place my Mighty Hoop down on top. And that's it, guys. That's It's hooped ready to go. Um, so what I do before I take it to the machine, I do kind of squeeze in here just to make sure that it's nice and tight. Um, sometimes if those ears are in the way, there's a little bit extra bulk. It doesn't want to... Um, uh, connect as well. So I just want to make sure some people do use like extra strong clips on here that you find at like a home improvement store. You could definitely use those. That w that could be a big help on these. Um, I've never had a problem with them slipping like this. So I'm going to go ahead and take this over to my machine now. All right, we are over at my brother 10 needle now. It's a PR 1000E. It does have the snowman feature, but again, that is not a requirement to be able to do baskets like this. It is just to be able to line it up with the snowman feature. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select my design from there and click set. I like to manually change my color. I know which one I like for light blue. It's going to be on needle two. That's just a personal preference. At this point, this, if you were not using the snowman feature, this is where you're gonna line your um, name up to where you want it. 
I am going to use mine though, so I'm going to click on there. It's going to scan. Click OK. It's going to find that little sticker um, shape on there for me. And you'll see it's manually adjusting a little bit here and there. And there we go. Now I'm in just the perfect um, alignment. It had to rotate it one degree for me and you'll see it moved it um, down a little bit and then off to one side. So after that, we are ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and click sewing. And this is when I just take the painter's tape off and take the name off and we're ready to go. Here's the final eight of my basket orders um, for this year. If you're looking for a quick, easy, and profitable um, item for around Easter, baskets as well as bunnies and embroidering the ears are great additions to shops. Um, these are super fast, super easy, and since they don't take much time, um, you can do a lot in a short amount of time. I knocked these all out in probably less than an hour easily and you know making quite a bit per item so definitely something to look into um, check out all the different sources there's wholesale sources you can source your own through places like alibaba or um, just retail sites as well as finding things um, in person in stores to um, just re um, decorate and resale like always, we'd love to have you like our video if this was helpful and leave us a comment on what you'd like to see next. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.